What's going on guys, it's Shade here and today I'm going to be doing a quick look and overview of everything that is coming in Season 1. Um, so we've got the poster here in front of us, we're going to be taking a look through everything together. Uh, but yeah, please make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe. We're trying to hit 5,000 subs before the end of the year. Please help me uh, do that goal. Okay, so starting off with the new maps coming to Black Ops 6, we have got Hideout, Extraction and Heirloom. They're the three that we already saw and we already knew about. But now there is a new one called Racket. Hacienda from Black Ops 4, so we know we've got a good map coming, and the holiday season version of Nuketown, which is going to be a fun one to play around Christmas. So out of those six, we're getting four new maps and two maps that we've already seen before, um, and the two ones that we've already seen before, the two I'm looking most forward to playing. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the other maps. From what I've seen, they just look like more of the same, you know, small Black Ops 6 garbage map. But we'll have to see. Um, then we move on down to the gameplay updates. We've got a new score streak, the hand cannon. Um, I mean, yeah, I think we've seen that before. Uh, a new perk called Shadow. From the looks of it, I don't know. Like, can you now step on landmines without setting them off? I don't know. And the high roller wild card. So I'm not sure what that does either. But I feel like this is... We've probably seen all of this stuff in previous Black Ops titles. Um, we just maybe it's just been renamed. Then we move on to modes. Now I don't know what ransack is, but prop hunt is returning, and I just want to say now this better be a permanent game mode. This better not be just limited for a time period here in season one. This better be permanent, and I want to be able to play prop hunt every day for the rest of this game's life cycle. And then obviously. We have the ranked. So I've never played. I've never played ranked ever in uh, Call of Duty. So maybe I might have to try it out. I've seen that there's uh, some nice skins you can get for it. Um, but then we move on down to zombies. So we're getting the directed mode of Terminus and Liberty Falls. So I think that's just it'll walk you through the uh, the Easter eggs. So I really need to get the Terminus uh, Easter egg done if I want that exclusive calling card. Uh, new gobble gums. And then the brand new map, Citadel Des Morts, which, I'm not going to lie, it looks like it's been inspired by Dirt Eisendrak. So, already that's going to be good. Hopefully, anyway, if it's taken after that. Um, we're getting two new operators, uh, Sev and Goliath. Goliath comes with a hyena, which is uh, kind of cool. Um... There's a new event called the Hit List. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe just new cosmetic items. Then, of course, there's new bundles. Uh, the Replacer and Brightmare. I'm not going to lie out of those two. If I was to purchase one, the Replacer would have to be the one I'd go for. I mean, I've seen this guy everywhere at the moment. It would be fun to play the game as him. Um, but then if we move over to the right... We've now got Warzone. Warzone is officially coming into Black Ops 6. The uh, like the Omni movement integration is happening, and everything is being ported over. I think it's the same maps, only there's this new one called Area 99, which is kind of like a Nuketown inspired one. I'm pretty sure. I'm not a massive uh, Warzone guy, but if people want to see me stream Warzone or upload Warzone videos, please let me know in the comments down below, and I I will um, because it could be fun me and my girlfriend playing that together or maybe me and uh, some of the channel members playing that together but the most important part besides the maps is probably the new weapons we're getting so we are getting a new AR called the Krig Krieg I'm pretty sure I might be wrong but is that the gun from Cold War I want to say I'm not sure then we have a special which is the Siren Siren not sure what that is. And then the Sorg or the Saug, however you say it, which I'm pretty sure is from Black Ops 4. Um, a Power Drill, which is probably the most interesting one there. Uh, that's going to be quite fun to run around and kill people with. Uh, the AMR, uh, a Meat Cleaver. Again, kind of fun that. And a new shotgun, Mail Maelstrom, Maelstrom. Hopefully that is not complete ass like the other shotguns in multiplayer. We'll have to see. And then we are getting some new attachments, which is nice. Uh, I don't really know what the buffer weight stock is, but I know Dragon's Breath, that's going to be a fun one. Obviously, coming from the campaign, being able to shoot fire at people in multiplayer is going to be quite a fun one. 
But uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. That's everything that is confirmed. Obviously, more to come in season, it says there at the bottom. But what's your guys' opinions on season one? It comes out later this week. We will be live streaming on the day. Um, so make sure to check the channel. We might be already live by the time you're watching this. We will be streaming it. Let me know in the comments, do you think this is enough content? I mean, personally, I'm I'm really impressed. It seems like a lot of stuff and they've definitely put a lot of effort into it. Uh, we just got to hope that the maps are good. Um, we've just got to hope that, I don't know, prop punt's going to stay and it's not a limited time mode. Uh, I've got high hopes for the zombies this year. I think zombies is personally carrying Black Ops 6 and the Citadel map aesthetically it looks great so hopefully it's just as good as the other zombies maps uh but yeah let, let me know in the comments your guys opinions i want to hear let's have a discussion but uh that's gonna be it from me make sure to like and subscribe like i said we are on the road to 5000 and uh i will see you guys in the next one peace